base of the polo, so for sure uh, it will be hard to fight with the other, but uh, the goal is to progress quickly and to be able, uh, yeah, as soon as possible, to fight with them, uh, get at least podium and maybe victory in the end of the season. With Volkswagen, it's clear that both drivers are in the same position, which is the um, most important thing for, for me to, to drive in the team, and, and that's what this Volkswagen has said, so it's important. But of course, Ozier has done the, done the work and, and testing, and he knows the car very well. But okay, I have been doing the WRC car, the championship, so I have experience from that side. So, But anyway, maybe he will be a little bit stronger to start with, but so I hopefully, hopefully I can catch back and we are strong together, making a strong team. Back to the Italian action and just one stage and eight kilometres remain after a brutal outing through the Sardinian stages. So close but yet so far for those three podium hopefuls. Well, we just heard from Latvala about his future plans with VW. He'll be devastated he couldn't produce another good result for Ford this weekend before he leaves. There is Spain to come, of course, but for now Latvala's focused on a consolation power stage win. 6.13.6 is the fastest time through so far and that's going to be tough to beat. It's been a frustrating weekend for everyone at the Works Ford team, with Peter Solberg also falling foul of the challenging Sardinian roads. But he is pushing in here. He's going to be very close to his teammate's time in the power stage. But Peter takes it two temps quicker than Latvala. Martin Prokop has had an eventful weekend in his privately entered Ford Fiesta RS. Engine problems and numerous spins may have held him up, but he survived the Sardinian scrap to secure another point-scoring finish in eight. Left a bit of debris in his wake, but thankfully it's nothing critical he's lost there. Back to that intriguing fight for fifth between Sebastian Ogier and this man, Chris Atkinson. The Australian has had to give it everything to try and get back ahead. Oh, but that was a big hit on a rock. And it doesn't sound good. Yeah, he's picked up a puncture. Look at the front right. A disappointing finish to the rally for Atko then. That has blown any hopes he had of regaining fifth. After surviving the bulk of the Sardinian status, he's been caught out with the end in sight. And joining Mads Osberg one last time on what's been one of his strongest events of the season. He's hit a rock as well. I think his tyre has stayed inflated. A lucky escape for Mads and his fourth place is secured, which keeps him right in the hunt for third in the championship. There are still hazards out there to avoid then, so this will be a tense and emotional last few kilometres for the top three drivers. First to come through, Oit Tanak. After a roller coaster of a season, the Estonian finally has the result his undoubted pace deserves. That is a first ever podium for Oit and co driver Kaldasit. I don't know, it's an amazing feeling. I was like getting some tears already, like before the end of the stage. But, uh, I don't know. I couldn't imagine that it's, it would be that good feeling, but it's so nice feeling. Tanak safely home then, so can his M Sport teammate hold on for the runner-up spot? Evgeny Novikov carefully picking his way through the tight and twisty gravel tracks of Galura. Unsurprisingly, none of these drivers interested in power stage points. The Russian rocket survives for the runner-up spot. And after a rough weekend for the works sports, at least M Sport can celebrate a double podium. Here is our leader now with the final stage snaking away in the distance. And this might have been one of Mikko Hirvonen's easiest wins, but while his main rivals fell by the wayside, the Finn still had to bring the car home. Just the final few tight and twisty corners to come now before the flying finish. It is a proud, proud moment for Mikko and co-driver Jarmo Leitonen. That's their 15th career win, the first of 2013, and Hirvonen becomes the first non-Frenchman to win for Citroën since Francois Duval in Australia back in 2005. It's been a long weekend for sure. I didn't expect to have this kind of rally, and uh, 
I'm still a little bit nervous. I, <laughs> it's like I won probably the first time, but you know, it just feels good, really, really good for for the sake of Citroen and also. You know, I've been five times second here, so it just really feels so good to finally win this rally. An understandably emotional rally winner. There's confirmation that it was Solberg who took the power stage win, with Lapper and Neuville also claiming bonus points. They're not the last cars to come through, though. It might only be for fifth place, but this has been one of the drives of Sebastian Ogier's career. With Chris Atkinson hitting trouble in here, the Frenchman can ease off the pace, but he was already winning the fight. That is a top five result for Ogier and the VW test team. And look how much that means to Sebastian. Well, I think we can be very proud of this weekend. We have pushed really hard from the beginning. Uh, we just lose 30 seconds on day one because of puncture, but after that it was a maximum attack almost all the time. And once again, we want to congratulate the team. The car was perfect. It's good, uh, good motivation for next year. Fifth place for Ogier then with his teammate Andreas Mikkelsen in seventh. But up at the front, Hirvonen takes the victory with Novikov a distant second ahead of his teammate Tanak. Osberg survives an eventful weekend to claim four. Plenty to talk about following that breakthrough win for Mikko. All the reaction to an eventful weekend in Sardinia is coming up in a few minutes. Welcome back to Rally Italia Sardinia. Mikko Hirvonen has claimed his first ever victory for Citroen Racing in what has been a faultless drive across the weekend. His win made all the more special having finished in the runner-up spot on this rally in its last five appearances on the WRC calendar. The Finn welcomed back to service by the rapturous applause from the team. I feel really, really happy. I think one thing is like I've been five times second here, so it's, it's quite incredible finally win the rally. and. Uh, I've always been really, really strong to maintain my pace and, and my position if it's needed. And uh, I knew I could do it since uh, I had a big lead for Evgeny, so uh, it, it's never easy. But the lead was so big that I can take it a little bit steady and cautiously. And, and OK, it was a long weekend, but uh, I don't know, I really feel like I won my first rally. Uh, it's been a really long time since I won the rally and uh, my first with Citroën. So uh, I feel really good. Is this also bringing a lot of confidence for Rally Spain and, of course, for the year 2013? Well, I think I proved my strongest point in a way that I can be really consistent and, and, uh, and uh, win rallies. But still, we didn't have, the, have a big fight all three days. And I'm sure that's something we're going to face more next year. So I need to be ready for that. But then again, we were in a good pace since the beginning. And, and uh, I can't really do anything about it. Everybody else makes, makes mistakes. So it's, uh, it was good, really good. Very happy uh, after what happened beginning of this year. Uh, it was important for us that uh, Nico win one rally this uh, this year, and I hope maybe that he can do uh, it again in three weeks in Spain. You know what happened at the beginning of the year was very difficult for everybody, and uh, I was uh, like uh, somebody who, who need to give back something to Miko, and uh, I know uh, it's done, and it is very important for us for the future also. Uh, what. Uh, Nico showed in the beginning of the rally and uh, the, the pace he had and the, the times he did uh, and the big fight with uh, everybody is very important for the next year and show that he's now very well with the car and, uh, and with the team. It's not just Citroen celebrating, the M Sport boys have also had a great weekend with Evgeny Novikov equaling his best ever WRC finish in the runner-up spot and his teammate Oik Tanak taking third overall for his first ever podium. It was a great weekend for us, it was a difficult rally and it was a long rally, so we had uh, to need uh, always a full concentration and um, so we're happy, it's just cool, very good result. Amazing feeling, I couldn't think about that before the stage that it could be a uh, feeling like this, but uh, it was something incredible. How was the whole weekend for you? Did you feel confident to, to stay, to defend your podium position? Yeah, after this when we got the podium place already, it was quite confident there, yeah, but uh, on Thursday night, we, we, when we did a uh, wrong tire choice, it, uh, I was pretty disappointed, but uh, after this it was just uh, uphill and uh, 
everything felt really good, so I'm really happy. Sebastian Loeb is already crowned driver's champion. Sardinia marks another celebration for Citroen. Mikko's win confirms his second place and a Citroen 1-2 for 2012. But the fight for third is still on. It's advantage Osberg going into the final round. Citroen Total also wrapped up the Manufacturers Championship in France with the four team confirmed in second place. M Sport have secured third after their double podium here in Italy. There's a trip to the Millionaires playground of Porto Cervo up the coast for the Finnish podium next, where the champagne will rarely taste so sweet for Mikko and Jarmo Leitinen. To finish first, first you have to finish Sardinia, once again proof of that tale. The season finale takes us to the sun, sand and sea of Rally Catalunya in Spain in three weeks' time. Until then, it's goodbye from Sardinia. Seven right.